nothing ending of my technology here. Because my philosophy okay, is learning design first, technology second. Even though I'm a professor of uh, e-learning and multimedia education, but technology must not be in the first place. Sorry, I love the <laughs> now, this one is a very powerful man, or maybe a reality expert. Uh, but whatever technology they are having, the learning design is coming first. Then we see what kind of technology coming to support it. So, remember, uh, virtual reality and augmented reality will play a very important part for now and for the future of your test and for the world. Okay. Now, let's very quickly, I will run through this. Uh, some of them could have been reported by whoever. Please let me know. I don't repeat too much time. <coughs> I'm from education. <coughs> I've been a teacher for close to 20 years. So before that, I like got formal education uh, training. All of us here, Except for those from Pedidekan. Anybody from Pedidekan? From Pedidekan? No one? Okay. So that means that all the rest of us, I assume you don't have formal training with back to education. You don't have formal training on actually how to use different kinds of strategies or pedagogy, we call it pedagogy, okay, uh, to match certain content. It could be you know abstract concept, it could be some kind of procedural concept, you know. So there are different strategies, different approaches. We might be using you know, what we learned in the past. Please uh, be very open to get yourself upgraded, okay, concerning all this as we go along. So there'll be more trainings coming up. Today is just uh, exposure only. Behaviorism, okay, so I'm touching on the learning theories I'm very briefly. Okay. Learner is passive and they learn via external processes that is positive reinforcement. The, you get it right, good. You got right again, fantastic. You know, the kind of a reward system. And this one, the method is a lot of drill and practice growth learning. Now, this was the beginning. And later on, there were educators that say, no, learning is not just uh, external stimulus you know, and a response to that, but it's more actually something internal going on. It's information processing taking place. So this comes out the cognitive uh, theory. So how does information get processed in our mind? so as to bring in meaningful learning. <coughs> then, another one come in, constructivist. And the constructivism, constructivist theory that says, no, you cannot just be passively sitting there, listening and using your mind to process information. You must be hands-on. You must be involved. <laughs> okay? So, learner builds on personal experience active and social in the learning process. So, collaborative work. That's why you see we have a group work. Sengajaan, we want a group work, other than individual work. Because uh, you can bring in constructivist learning environment. And then comes along social constructivism, meaning that learner is director, self-directed learning via a group of people. <coughs> social aspect somehow plays a part in bringing up new learning. <coughs> okay. I will this morning introduce you very briefly concerning something called Kainé's Night Events of Instruction. Uh, Kainé is a behaviorist. And you will be simply that's very old. Remember? And it's also a cognitivist. Okay, so the world of cognitivism and behaviorism is seen over here. So have a look at and see actually how reflect upon it, how actually uh, your own practice mesh with any of them. Or 
may be even enough to make your teaching a little more effective. How many uh, are familiar with Chinese life events of discussion? Have used it before? Uh, those who are in education, surely they would have known this. Because it's, uh, when they do lesson plan, you know, uh, they have to use this. There are nine steps, uh, since you're sitting so far away, you may not be able to see. First one is called gain attention. Second is inform the objective of the lesson. Prior information, what they already know. Present information, provide guidance, elicit the performance, provide feedback, assess performance, enhance retention, and transfer. Uh, <coughs> try to follow on. So, gaining attention. Ensure the learners are ready to learn and participate in activities by presenting a stimulus to gain their attention. So, if you're in a face-to-face -face environment in your lecture, okay, so, maybe your voice, maybe your body gesture, maybe by telling a short story, maybe the music. Do you make a attempt like that before you start to say something? We throw a question to arouse the interest ready for that lesson. <coughs> so that is meaning attention. And in the world of uh, technology, these thoughts are given to you. So I just very briefly show that I know there are a lot of text there, but you can go back and read. So, for example, you know, making use of uh, animation or using certain music and so many technology, you can also enter. Uh, Berita, you know, before they start, the few seconds of animation is actually just to announce people uh, getting them ready, getting their attention. <coughs> Objective, establishing, managing their expectation early is a key to creating a sense of scope, momentum and progress. Just by telling the student, in this one hour, in these two hours, you should be able to learn blah blah blah. This concept, this procedure, this application. The expectation, you know, according to Gaine, is second level of learning. It's learning. Okay? I know some of you do it. Can you please make an attempt? The next time I give your next class, inform the class, put in PowerPoint, okay? at the end of this session, you should be able to one, two, three. Uh, a lot of experiment okay, uh, done in the world of education to confirm all this. And of course, when you talk about objective, then you bring in Bloom Taxonomy. Okay? And Bloom Taxonomy, this one is on the cognitive domain, again here, cognitive domain. So, whatever that we prepare, you know, <coughs> are we able to uh, help them learn to, to define or to uh, repeat something, misremember? Are we asking them to learn to describe or discuss or to explain something? That means, can they understand? Are we able to get them to implement, to solve a particular problem after learning those rules? We can apply. <clears throat> able to analyze, able to evaluate, able to create something new, and this is actually what we want. Our students finally to come up with their whatever product in the future. <clears throat> okay, moving on. Prior information. Is it quite normal to go in the class? Hey, last week I was talking about blah 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 blah. That means uh, bring in the prior knowledge, you know. Back. Now there's something new to mesh. Okay, so this is part of learning. I just bring in and trigger something they have learned that is going to mesh what they're going to learn now. This is the third level of learning. Third level of learning. Present information. Okay, so that's where you present information. Blah blah. 
in lecture one hour blah 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 Okay. Our student attention span, how many minutes? <coughs> One shot. Sit down, you know, pay attention to you. Fresh. How long can they maintain their freshness? <laughs> Ten minutes? <laughs> Fourteen minutes? Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Who is that? You are. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> These are students, we are looking for this student. Fourteen minutes attention span there. Ten minutes only. How many minutes? Huh? I just echo. How many minutes? Huh? Imam plus minutes. On the average. Huh? A lot of studies say it's, it's actually less than 5 minutes nowadays. Especially with YouTube. Huh? Normally the video about 3 minutes only. <laughs> Longer than 3 minutes, people watching YouTube not huh? think they will stop and jump to something else. Too long. 5 minutes? They will not complete the whole video clip. Hey, we must learn from that. We have to learn from that. We have to jump. We have to dive in and then you predict that, predict that. Especially, hey, when we are talking about technology. When we are producing something, putting online, when you are not there to tell the student, hey, continue, continue. You must put in such a way that the student, hey, self motivated, want to continue. So you have to apply some kind of a strategy. <coughs> no more guidance, uh, especially online. You have to tell them some direction. Illicit performance, you have to test and practice, uh, get them practice the rules, the things that you learn, provide feedback. Especially when you are online, you see, here you can ask questions and then uh, I can give feedback. But online, the student is reading a quiz, and if they get it wrong, then what happened? Ma'am, and the salam. Is that all? Or can you put Ma'am, and the salam, and then give some bathroom mat? Oh, Murihan! At least, you know, tell them why they are wrong. And then uh, maybe, and those who are right. Shabbat. And then give them some bathroom mat. Pengkayaan. How about that? Uh, give them something else to bring them to the next level. Uh, feedback, according to Guy Ney, hey, is one of the best time uh, for learning. Whether they are right or whether they are wrong. Who is the best people to give the feedback? The content expert. In your area. You know why they pick C sebagai jawapan yang salah. You know why they pick B even though it's wrong. Because of some kind of misconception. <clears throat> this session is until what time? I bet. Let's check my time. Okay. And we assess their performance, and then we ask them to apply it to a new scenario. So that was actually behaviorist and cognitivist theory combined together. There's something else called social constructivist paradigm. And now here, subject, that means the student, object here, the outcome, the tools. This belongs to constructivist paradigm, and this one belongs to look. They project it down at the community, at the peraturan, and also at the agihan tugas tugasan. And this one activity theory. Hey, please bear in mind, you know, that when we give our student group work, you are actually applying this. 
You may not know this term, but actually you are applying this. Okay? To know more about this, you just please Google uh, activity theory. Or social constructivist theory. You are actually applying that. Because we believe that a student, if they make use of any technology in a group, hey, it may bring out a certain outcome. If using a particular tool with a particular rules that are given to them, it will bring out different outcome. <coughs> so on. So, again, a lot of experiments have been done in this area. You can see it. Okay, <coughs> so this one, uh, Principle of Instructional Design by Danny, 1992. Uh, there is an old book, but it's a it's a top guru. In the world of education, uh, he brings up the condition that should be around a student to support <coughs> learning, to manjala information processing here. 